it's Lucy and Jeff going for walks and talks, talk about banksters and Bitcoin and the apocalypse and stuff. It's Lucy and Jeff and tacos and kisses. How you doing today, Lucy? We're pretty good just going for my walk. Just keeping my eyes out for honey badgers. Honey badger knows where everyone is. Honey badger sniff, sniff, sniffs away. I don't trust that Billy Wonka either. It looks like he's been eating too many of my tacos. You better get his ankle guard on. Broke ankle! This whole world seems like uh, Billy Wonka and his <laughs> factory. It's all weird and crazy. It's like we're all on drugs. <laughs> Maybe that's what happened, really. I have taken a lot of plants in my life, mostly plants. Ayahuasca, Iboga, that's crazy. <laughs> uh, DMT, mushrooms, yeah, all plants, cannabis. Maybe I'm just on drugs. <laughs> Or maybe I died in 2012, but yeah, this whole world seems weird and just everything's just so weird now. And then to make matters worse, really, or actually better, <laughs> but in the short term worse. As you may recall, I, I've been trying to get rid of all of my distractions and all of my attachments. Attachments are really... I'm starting to realize this is you have attachments to distract yourself from not looking at yourself from not, you know, like many attachments, like, for example, alcohol, right? I would do that a lot because I didn't want to just sit in my house and actually have to deal with my own mind. Right. And think about what's going on. And uh, where's Lucy going? I think that gate's closed, Lucy. I'm eh, just checking it out. And so instead of doing like the self work, which I've been doing pretty heavily now for basically like a year, but like, uh, but over the course of time, five or six years, really, I would just use a lot of those things to not actually really do the work on myself. I would rather have a bottle of wine in the evening than meditate and or even take some cannabis and meditate because that's when you get really deep. And um, so I haven't actually had any alcohol since the first day of this year, 2022. I kind of drank a lot on New Year's Eve and then I just kept drinking when I woke up the next day. And then things got weird. And the last thing I remember, well, the second last thing I remember was Max Egan cramming like an entire weed brownie into my mouth and then my family all putting me into bed <laughs> as I cried about how I feel alone or something <laughs> uh, and I haven't drank since then and so as you may know if you've been watching these I have talked quite a bit about wanting to get rid of a lot of my other attachments and some of those have been things like just watching hockey which I haven't really been doing not like before I paid attention just to see how far the Oilers would go. And they made it to the third round and they lost, but I didn't really care. Like they lost in overtime the other night and I actually had it on. I was in bed. I was like, I might as well just watch this. And they lost. I was like, well, that's over. <laughs> it's like, I don't care. I don't think I'm ever going to watch it again. I think I'm done. So that's cool. I might've got rid of that. Uh, poker. I also basically just decided a couple days ago, that it's taking up too much of my time and it's also serving as a distraction from lots of other things I should be doing and can be doing. Or not should, should's a, the wrong word, but like things that are much, that at this point in my life is much more important than just sitting there playing poker half the day uh, for numerous days of the week, which is what I was doing. The problem was I started to get really good at it. <laughs> And they even invited me on like the Poker After Dark show. And uh, I start, I'm starting to get well known in the poker community because I'm like on like the final tables <laughs> saying things that people just aren't used to. But the other day I was like, that's it. I'm done with poker. And one big thing that had become an attachment along with the poker was caffeine and sugar, which 
I had no idea how hard it is here. It's not really that hard, but like it's a thing to get off those things. So I decided, okay, that's it for poker and caffeine and sugar. This is my next stage, right? So I can focus more on, you know, even just going for more walks with Lucy. I don't mind a few extra walks a week. That sounds fine with me. I'm getting a little old though. Keep them under an hour. <laughs> yeah, I do try to keep them about under an hour for you now, Lucy. So a few days ago, I'm like, that's it. No more. Because I was doing the Starbucks every day. Two venti frappuccinos. So I didn't have any Starbucks for the last two days. And I've basically been in bed for the last two days. <laughs> like, and it's not like I'm sick. It's like I just have no motivation to do anything. <laughs> and actually, I've been using the time to meditate and stuff like that, which is what I wanted to do. I'm starting to feel a bit more energy now after two days, but holy cow, like, it's amazing. Like, all the most dangerous sort of drugs that I've encountered in my life, uh, well, not all, well, they are though. Alcohol is definitely one. You can get it anywhere, right? Like, you, you know, the World Health Organization and the governments looking out for everyone's health. But uh, every ad on TV, every sports ball game, it's just all alcohol. And then there's sugar and caffeine, which I just had no idea. It's actually my wife who uh, was, she started like in the last few weeks actually saying it to me. She's like, that's it, you're doing, taking too much sugar. You're drinking too much sugar. And I was like, ah, fucking wives always nagging you on something, right? But it's actually a good thing. It's, it actually really is. Like without her, I'd be, I'd been dead 10 years ago. <laughs> if it wasn't her, like you gotta stop drinking so much. Okay. Like, I just need that, right? Like most guys I think do. And, uh, but she really got on it with me and I was like, well, sugar now, like, come on. I'm, I'm working hard, I'm working on myself. Everything's improving dramatically. You just gotta push me on this. But uh, I was like, well, this does is what I wanna do is get rid of all my attachments or you could say addictions. And uh, it appears I was definitely addicted to caffeine and sugar or both because last two days is like I was a zombie. I'm starting to feel really good now though. It's only been two days. I, I, I've been, you know, part of my things I do while I'm doing this is uh, read about addictions to sugar. So I got like Alan Carr's book uh, on addictions to sugar and caffeine. I just started reading it and I, I've been watching some videos. I actually found one really good video. I don't think I'll mention it this video because I've already started uh, going on way too long <laughs> without even getting started here. Uh, so I'll save that for another day, but really, uh, you know, just another sort of typical example of when the student is ready, the teacher will be there. So I found this great video on how uh, caffeine is, was it caffeine or sugar? <laughs> I've been looking them both up. I think it was caffeine. Yeah, I think it was. Oh man, I don't even remember. But the whole thing is that he got into how it's all stuff that we use to distract ourselves. And the root problem is our, we haven't done the work. And I was like, yeah, that's totally what I think. That's totally what I think I'm trying to do here. So like right then I, I found it. That, so I'm watching that video as I'm starting to realize, holy cow, sugar and caffeine is like hardcore. And uh, yeah, I think I'm gonna leave it there. I think Lucy's had enough. I've had enough for today to go back into bed <laughs> with my uh, caffeine and sugar withdrawals and watch the world burn basically. Where are you at Lucy? Oh, there you are, Lucy. I was looking for you. Oh, yeah, I came up here. I was just waiting for you to finish up, talking about shit coins and all that. I got some pirate chain, so I'm all good. And, uh, and some Monero. Monero's actually been one of the best performers out there. I always knew that was going to happen, so, uh, you know, let people take their vax if they want to take their vax. And uh, let's go get some tacos, and I'll give whoever's left living cursors. Oh, my boy, boy, boy.